first generation on the CRV 1997. And this vehicle has a problem odometer and trip meter doesn't work. As you can see, my odometer stopped at 201,999 kilometers. As you can see, probably was ready to change to 202. I don't know yet what's wrong. Let's take a vehicle for a spin and uh, confirm the issue and um, Let's see what we have speedometer signal and we have our tachometer working that's already promising and probably we have some issues with the instrument cluster itself but i don't know yet we'll we'll find it out and uh, see what we can do to make it work or i need to replace the cluster yeah let's get started All right, to make everything more clear, let's take a brief look on a wiring diagram. This is a Honda CRV service repair manual and uh, the gauge assembly circuit diagram. And this is our instrument cluster. And uh, here's our battery under the hood fuse box, ignition switch under dash fuse box and power to the vehicle speed sensor is coming from a black and white wire from number 15 fuse seven and a half amps coming to this pin and sensor has a ground this black wire ground g101 and also this signal wire blue and white is coming down to our speedometer and it shares the same signal with a tachometer and also it has a splice when a vehicle speed signal is going to PCM, power control module. And as you remember, we have a speedometer working and our tachometer was working. But we have a problem with the odometer and trip meter. I look at on this um, circuit diagram, I went through every single light bulb and indicator and uh, i couldn't find a dollar on this one you can see pretty easy removal two screws for the cover and four screws for the instrument cluster and one two three four five six uh, connectors yeah shouldn't be that difficult let's uh, remove the cluster and see what we got okay last screw is removed let's pull the cluster out carefully and uh, See if we have something obvious like loose connectors, some green rust and crust. We don't know. Yeah, let's take a look from the back. Yeah, let's unplug, inspect the connectors, wires, pins, make sure everything's intact, and um, yeah, see. That's pretty easy. Our last one. Okay. One more. Okay, it's pretty easy to undo them. As you can see here, they have a plastic locking tab. You just press this part down to open the lock and pull the connector. Be careful not to pull the wires. Yeah, okay, the cluster is unplugged. It's ready to come out. All right. Okay, this one's what I'm interested in most because it's connected to the central part of the cluster where is our odometer and speedometer I will just inspect for any rust and crust possible moisture intrusion uh, burn spread at terminals so far everything looks good we'll just check the rest we don't have any other problems with the uh, gauges or lights everything's working but only missing a odometer and trip meter just a visual inspection as always first so far everything's intact okay front part is out pretty easy you just press those plastic tubs in and pull the glass out okay let's take this black front part just same way as we were removing the glass just press those tubs in and pull it out and, uh, yeah, it should come out. There we go. boom nice all right remove 
one, two, three, four Phillips screws at the back, and I believe our front part should come out. First screws are removed. Let's carefully pull that guy out. Boom, nice. All right. Ta -da -da -da. Okay, let's take a closer look. Here's our ground. Here's our ignition switch power. This is OD, something stands for odometer, I guess. It's SP speedometer. Yeah, speedometer we had working. That's good. And odometer, let's inspect each and every one. Soldering joints, looking for any burnt loose connections. And um, everything looks so far like a new like a brand new i don't see any shorted pins uh, loose soldering burn terminals so far so good but could be the problem with the motor itself possible they known to fail let's uh try this circuit board out carefully and see what we have underneath. See if we have some issues with the connections. On another side, see there where those pins go in, and um, it can be just a bad connection and it's not working visually. Those uh, terminals they look just fine and I could see the pins they were making a connection there's uh, some scratch marks which is just um, what you can for confirm and uh, on another side everything looks just fine and um, yeah and here's our motor all right, after playing with the original instrument cluster with that odometer, it didn't want to get back to work somehow or another. I was lucky. I found a replacement one used instrument cluster with a pretty close mileage, 253, not too bad. And uh, yeah, uh, let's just plug it in and see if it will, will work. Okay, all connectors are connected. Cluster temporarily in place. Let's see if. Oh, yeah, this one's can back to life. Let's fire it up and see. Yeah, let's go. Okay. All right, the gear indicator is working. That's good. Fuel gauge is going down because I have a quarter. Our Tachometer is working. See if our odometer is working. Let's see if it's capable of start counting kilometers. And so far, I see our trip meter is working. And even for driving for less than a minute, we see. Like four, change to five. Our fuel gauge is working, tachometer is working, speedometer is working, and uh, trip meter is working. Well, not too bad. I think this is a way to fix it. Just replace with a used one. If you're lucky to find an odometer with a closed mileage, that's great. All right, let's turn it off. Well, I would say probably that instrument cluster can be fixed, but who knows what parts we need for fixing that. Visually, it looks okay, but uh, amount of time and parts, I think it's not, not worth it fixing it. Old part, just used for spare parts, and uh, this one's working. I'm pretty happy with the repair, so-called cluster replacement. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. If it's helpful, thumbs up subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions leave them down in the comment section below see you soon bye bye